Hello again, this is Doug the Two-Minute Gardener. Well, with this drought just gripping California so tight, I want to talk again about agaves. I love using them for focal points in drought-tolerant gardens because they have such wonderful texture to them and focus. And this is my favorite. This is the variegated smooth agave. Really nice because it only gets about three feet tall, about three feet wide. Not that sharp. Now, the ends are sharp but the leaves themselves are smooth thus the name variegated smooth agave so agaves are really great because they really tend to be taller more majestic this one's my favorite but here's a couple other ones that I really love to recommend to clients if you're looking for something that's a really low maintenance drought tolerant plant that can really hold its form with very very little care so agaves are really great now again they are sharp at the ends so you don't want to use them in backyards where you have dogs or kids but front yards if you're replacing the grass they're really great and again agaves only flower once in their lifetime they are going to bloom this big gorgeous bloom stalk depending on the agave it can be anywhere from 5 to 10 even as tall as 15 feet once that bloom dies and then it's going to have little babies at the bottom um, to replace the mom that is dead once the flower is done but these are some other really great ones to also consider and there's a list as always in the video description of all of these the other thing to keep in mind is the uh, flower of the agave is wonderful for bees and hummingbirds so it doesn't happen very very often but when it does it'll bloom for several months flowers uh, like these are just such wonderful magnets for bees and hummingbirds as well well that's all the time we have for today hey make sure to hit that like button if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to get more of my garden videos this is Doug the two-minute gardener saying thanks so much for watching